this is another scrawler box on scrawler box unboxing and of course before we get to the unboxing we have got to I've got to show you what I came up with as you can see I changed my background and that's a whole nother story I was uh, I had trouble with uh, they did an update on my um, computer on my, my uh, tablet and I don't know what what they did but it changed to the Windows backdrop. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll change that. Anyway, I had all kinds of problems. I had to call Microsoft, try to have, get them. And I lost my virtual, you know, my virtual keyboard. Let's see if I can get it up. There, there my virtual keyboard. I lost it. I lost a little icon for it. I'm like, what happened to it? And um, anyway, so it was really simple to fix. And I, I laughed about it. I'm like, ah, oh, it was so simple. Even the back, it, what happened to it was easy to fix because I was in tablet mode. For some reason, I got in tablet mode. And, um, anyway, so they fixed it and everything, but I decided, you know what, I'll change my background too. And, of course, this is from Hawaii, and it's on the big island where the volcano is, and I, I, I'm thinking of doing a painting or a uh, colored pencil or drawing or something of that lava flow, because I just absolutely love it. Anyway, 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 I'm getting off track here. Anyway. All right, before we go get into this box, let me show you what I did for September's box. Because this is the October Scrawler box. So this, so, um, the, of course, um, October, I mean, um, September's was Cosmic Landscape. And before I attempted to do anything with the supplies, I wanted to do a test painting first. And this is what I did, this is what I came with. I just did it on little, um, a little uh, uh, postcard, watercolor postcard, and I kind of like how it came out. This is my first attempt at it. I've never done, you know, cosmic or anything or or space or anything like that before, so I'm kind of happy with it. I, you know, I do like the colors um, that they gave us. So um, I, I, and I've seen some other cosmic landscapes that had red in it and whatnot, but I, I kind of like how it came out. And so I thought, okay, I. I did the I did the little one. Let's see if I can do a big one. Well, you know. And I believe I said in my last video for the August scroller box that I had I was going to do for Space Mask, I was going to do Phantom of the Opera because that is my favorite musical and I love Gerard Butler in the part. Well, I had a photo of Gerard Butler as the Phantom. That is the photo I work from. I can't, I just did the head part. I, I just did, I don't want you to see it yet. I did just did up that, that part right there. I didn't do anything. I didn't do, go down below. I just did the, did that part. And here's what I came up. Now, you can see by his eyes, he's looking straight ahead. But for some reason, mine didn't turn out like that. But I'm still happy with it. And that is my version of Space Mask. I still like how it came out. Um, it can be improved on, yes, but I still like it. I'm sorry he's got a you know a pinkish face, but that's the only color we have is pink. So that's all. I, but I really, 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 really like how I, I it came out. I mean, I wanted to, the mask to blend in with the background, and then of course down here, instead of giving him all this here, this cravat and all that, I just gave just did the collar, and then. I blended it all together so it's just his head. And I really, I actually like how it came out. Um, I used that correction thing. I was going to put like, you know, in his hair, you know, like put more highlight in his, but I thought, no, leave it alone because that it's really hard to do really much with that, you know, um, sh you know, uh, shading or whatever. So you really can't do much with, with the, um, with the uh, correction fluid thing. But I still like how it came out. I mean, I, I'm very proud of it. I, I'm, I would just wish he was looking more straight on, like like in the photograph. Let me see if I can get this bigger. See, he's looking straight on in the photograph. So, it's not. Oh God, he's so handsome. I'm <laughs> sorry, he's so. Oh, oh, I just get shivers every time I look at a picture of Gerard. I mean, oh, he's just. Oh, I just. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I always, I always felt in the movie that Christine should have ended up with the Phantom because I mean he did love her I mean yeah it was kind of I don't know um, warped but still I mean you know anyway 
So anyway, I just think out of the two between the Count and the Phantom, he was the better, better man. I, that's just the way I feel about it. But anyway, anyway, so that was um, um, Cosmic Mask for, for me. And I really like how it came out. Um, like I said, I'm really, 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 really happy how it came out. I'm very proud of this. I'm, gonna, I'm going to frame it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I know that. It, it sort of kind of resembles him. Sort of kind of. Oh, God, that, those eyes. Oh, i got to stop looking at it. I'm sorry, i got to stop looking at it. I'll just keep looking at it. I'll get distracted. <laughs> I'll just get distracted. <laughs> but anyway, that was the photograph I worked from, and I do like how it came out. I also used the other sheet of paper to do a similar thing for, you know, the, the space thing. And I did a cosmic cat. And I really like how my cat came out. This was... Um, inspired by a drawing that I did that was inspired by um, an, um, an uh, early 20th century Halloween postcard of a cat with a curled tail um, looking up and I don't remember I don't think it was looking up at anything but it was is a really cute picture and I liked it so I redrew it and I put in the background in, of my draw of my drawing is um, like back here was a, like a graveyard and it is in a frame and I like and the, but the tail is like down here and I curled it up into its body and I tried to do it so that you could see the tail you know so that the tail just didn't s disappear because I like the way it curled but anyway I kind of kind of like how it came out and I did a little bit of you know clouds and you know it looks better on the camera than it does in real life well I don't you know what it took me a while to get used to it because at first I thought oh no I don't and I, like with the whiskers I tried to make that like comets or, or you know meteors or whatever so anyway I do like it I, I do like it and of course here's its eye you know so I tried to kind of sort of blend it into the, of course on the camera it actually looks like it really stands out but anyway I really like how this came out so this is the this time I used both um, pieces of paper. So I really like both of them. I, I do like this one though. I really do like my cosmic mask. I was thinking about doing that like a half mask, you know, like around the eyes and stuff. Not on him, but but I thought, no, I really like Phantom of the Opera. And this was the first time I actually did a portrait of anybody with watercolors. I'd never done it before. So all consider considering the fact that this is my first portrait in watercolor, I'm very pleased with it. Because it is my first try. I, I've done it in, in graphite. I've done it in um, charcoal. But I've never done a portrait in watercolor. So I am actually quite pleased with it. All things considered. But anyway, okay, that is it. Now, Scrawler Box for October. I'm happy to say that this one, thank you Scrawler Box, did not come open at all, was not crushed, was not smooshed, not, was nothing, so and it's got a little bit of weight to it, so I don't know what's in it, but I'm excited to find out. Anyway, okay, so let me, let me, I, I broke the seal, but, oh gosh, but I have not opened it yet. Oh gosh, I hate to, because I reuse these boxes, and I don't know why I can't get this open. So anyway, let me see here. Blah, 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 blah. I can't get it. I can't get it open. Please, let me get it open. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ta-da. All right, let me bend this back a little bit so you can see better. Okay. Now, ooh, this is making, I guess this is making heavy. Yeah, this is, and there's the stuff peeking out of there. But first, before I get to this, let me show you the artist that is featured for this month. And this is the artist. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, the work that went into that. Oh my, I don't know if I have the patience for something like that. I mean, I wouldn't do some, you know, I wouldn't do, I try to do my own thing. But oh my gosh, I can, that is, I cannot see myself doing something like that. I mean, you know, because it's so, it takes so much time, and I don't know if I've got the patience, but that is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And the artist is Jody Beckley. Let me um, hold this steady so that you can read it, should you choose to. You can, you don't even have to pause it unless you're a really quick reader, then, you know, you don't have to pause it. But um, the, the piece is called Duality. I really like that. 
oh my gosh, I think, I don't know if this goes this way or this way or this way. Actually, it can go any way you want it. <laughs> that is beautiful. I love the colors over here. And I presume the colors that she uses in this is the colors that are in this. And this is a line painter. Oh, it's uh, Derwent Graphics. So let's see what's in here. Let me see, how do I open it? Um, doo -doo -doo. How in the world? Well, shoot. Oh, there we go. All right. What's it say here? I guess it's one of those you shake up. It's permanent. Oh, it's water-based. <gasps> Yay, I love water-based. Oh, these are individually wrapped. We've got yellow. Let me see what we've got. We've got yellow. Looks like orange. Looks like orange. Blue, pink, and green. Those are our colors. So those are nice. And they're individually wrapped. I don't know if you guys want me to... I don't know if I... Actually, it's not so much you guys. It's me. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. Because it's only 28... I've only got 28 minutes. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to unwrap each one of these. Because each one is wrapped. So... I don't know if I'm going to have to, but I'll do a swatch, and then before I do, um, before I do the, uh, show you next time, uh, dang it, oh, it snaps in there, I keep wanting to, there we go, that's nice, it'd be nice to take with me, you know, on, in my purse, I want my purse is going to be so full of, um, our <laughs> art supplies, it's going to be heavy, okay, let me get to, let me open this, try to do this without getting any of this stuff out of it. Okay, oops. All right. Okay, and here is the Scrawler Box sticker. And then we have the challenge. Before we do the challenge, let me see what's in here. Okay, these are Derwent Graphics Line Painter. Can you read that top part? I'm not going to read it to you because the writing is really tiny for me and I don't have my magnifying glass right now. My eyes aren't that tired. Um because I wasn't staring at the computer all day, but still. Okay, and then the next thing we have here, let's see, what is it? Uh, the Artisan, or Art Line, Ergo Line 3400. Let's see, what is this? Oh, here it is. It's 0 0.4. And that is the, um, let me see, I need a piece of paper. Hold on a minute. Let me get a paper, piece of paper. Okay, I will use not that one. Oh, I'm stretching. You stretch. Okay. okay. All right. Is this the one I want? Yes. Oh, the sketchbook. Okay. One of my sketchbooks that I use for this, that, and the other. Okay. Oh, let's see. Choose a page. Any page. Okay, we'll do the back. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's nice. And then we have the um, Zig Kurataki Rider Twin Tip. Where's that one? That's this one right here. Yeah, let's see, it's dual tipped, okay. I believe this is probably the fine tip. Make sure you can see me. It doesn't say what millimeter is, does it? Let me see here. Oh yes. Okay, this is um this end is zero point three. This is zero point three millimeter. That's a sloppy L. Where's my, where's the top? What did I do with the top? Oh, there it is. And then we've got this other, it's not, oh, there we go. And then we've got this tip, or the bullet, bullet tip, or bullet nib. And this size is 
1.2 millimeter. And then what else we got? We have a ah Statler woodless graphite pencil. Love pencils. Here we are. I love the woodless ones. Let me see here. Ooh, that's nice. And it's an HB. You see that? I'm checking my time here, see if I've got enough time to unwrap those uh, those uh, pins. Okay, and that's that. And then, finally, in the box is... Oh, that's going to be hard to pronounce. Um, I'll just show you. <laughs> I'll try to pronounce it. Here it is, a sketchbook. Yay! I love sketchbooks. I love sketchbooks. There we go. Oh, it's got a little name thing in there. Nice. Oh, and the, and the paper is really nice. It's kind of thick feeling, the paper. Not thick, thick, but yeah, it's got, it's got some thickness to it. It's not real thin. Nice. Um, it's, um, what's it called? Ha, ni, mu, he? Hani Muhi Sketch and Note um, A6 Sketchbook. Here, let me put it in front of the camera. Can you read that? It's, of course, it's this one down here. And you guys can try to pronounce it. I think it's Japanese, but don't quote me on that. I, it sounds, when I pronounce it out by syllable, it sounds Japanese, but it may not be, but it, it sounds Japanese. But anyway, so, you know, um, that way you guys can... You guys can pronounce it out yourself, because <laughs> I butcher these. I think that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, and here's the candy. I got the candy, too. Yay! This is grape. Oh, it's yum. It's grape. Oh, it's blueberry. No, it's blueberry. It's got little blueberries on it, so it's blueberry. I love blueberries. Okay, so that is what was in the scrawler box for, no uh, for October. I was about to say November. Um, let me see. So I've got a little bit of time here. Let me get my sciz scissors out and see if I can't open these pins up so that I can show you the colors. But if I run out of, if I see I'm running out of time, then I will, oh, let me give you something to look at. There we go. <laughs> give you something to look at while I'm attempting to hurry up and open these pins or markers. I am really... There, we got one open. Um, I'm really, 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 really loving these uh, scrawler boxes. I got one open. Um, let me see here. It, it really gets me out of my comfort zone, especially with the markers and stuff, because I'm not used to working with markers. And... Um, I'm, yeah, I just, I, I, you know, I'm not a Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or Picasso or whatever. But I just love to draw. I've loved to draw since I was like five. And I've been, and I'm up there now. You know, I'm not, I'm not a young whippersnapper anymore. I'm, I'm up there in age. And I, I just can't imagine not being able to draw. So when I was losing my eyesight a few years back, all I could think of is like I can't, I won't be able to draw anymore, and I won't be able to read anymore. Well, I mean, I could read Braille, but yeah, they're the kind that you have to shake before you um, use them. Um, I've gotten two open. I'm working on the third one. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So when I was losing my eyesight. I, you know, I thought, well, maybe I could take up sculpting, because I know there are blind, blind sculptors out there. 
but you know I've never done sculpting before. I still got to do that uh, uh, out of that one art subscription box. I still got to do the sculpting in there. I will eventually. <laughs> um. So, and now it's like I'm grateful. Now I don't know. You know, you guys. You know, I don't know how many of out out there believe in God or whatever, um, or a higher being. Um, I'm one of them that do, does believe in the invisible person. Um, so, I mean, I, I thank him every day for returning my eyesight to him. Well, it was him and the doctor. Ta-da! I got them all open. Yay! So, because I believe in using the, um, what did I, oh, there it is. Believe in using or breaking in the, um, sketchbook the books that come with the supplies I will do that with this oh it says it's water soluble so let me get one of my water brushes ah, that one's got water in it okay I always keep them handy just for such an emergency so let me let me shake this little bad boy up I think this is the yellow well actually it is the yellow I don't think it is it is okay all right oops I, I bopped you you can barely see the yellow. Oh, wait a minute. Pump it. I have to pump it. There we go. Got it on there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, it drips. Look at that. It drips. Ooh, make make a, um, what do you call it? A, um, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, a modern painting. Um, abstract. That's what I was, that's the word I wanted, abstract. Okay. Oh, this is nice. And then just, oh, yeah. That'll be, oh, look at that. That's, and it holds up underwater really well. That's a good thing. It does hold up, you know, getting wet. It's, it's buckling just a tad, but not really bad. Okay, let me, let me, um, get a paper towel here. I always have a paper towel handy. Wipe, wipe off my brush so it doesn't get all grody. That's the yellow. And this is the blue. How am I doing for time? Okay. Okay. I really got to get a proper camera, a GoPro or something. You know, um, for let it run a little bit. That's a nice blue. Run, run. Okay. Let's smooth it out a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna love these markers. I'm gonna love them. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna love them. I am going to love them. Oh, wait, I didn't show, show you what the challenge was, did I? Let me show you the challenge. Equilibrium. And equilibrium, for those of you who may not know what it means, because there are people who don't know what it means, it means balance. And I, it, it, just, as soon as I saw the word, I'm like, I know exactly what I'm going to paint. But I'm not going to tell you guys until you see it next, next month. But that is nice. That's a nice color. That's a nice blue. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. There goes my... Come on, stay back on. Got to give you guys something to look at while I'm messing around here. And then we got the green. I should try mixing these colors together. There we go. All I have to do is press it. Look at that, run. Run! That's nice. Ah, I love it. That, I love it that they're water-soluble. I'm falling in love with water-soluble markers. It's sort of a, kind of like a, I don't know what, it's a, sort of like a pastel green. Oh, those are nice colors. Those are really nice colors. Yeah, it's holding up underwater really well. The paper, I mean. I just carry my, I'm in love with water brushes. And I really enjoy, oops. Um, I'm just tapping it here, trying to get it to come out. Come on, come on. This orange doesn't want to come out. It literally does not want to come out. Let me try to shake it up more. It really, the orange does not want to come out of the thing. Oh, there it goes. That one I didn't get as much as I got from these three colors. I don't know why, but it just did not want to come out. 
That'll make a nice good skin tone. Really light. That'll make a nice skin tone. For some reason, though, this orange does not want to come out. I'm working on a piece that um, I'm using all the. It's on a black tile that I got in another sketchbook or a sketch a art subscription box. And oh, well, that one came out real. Whoa, <laughs> that's the pink. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> or the red? No, maybe it's red. Doesn't say. It just says number 04. But I think it might be red instead of pink. It looks more like a red color, reddish color. That really ran. I mean, I had to catch it. I had to put it down before. It was sort of like, yeah, it's a bit light. It's a pinkish, reddish type of color. Vibrant. They're all vibrant, except for the, the orange. The orange just, I don't know, it just didn't want to come out. But anyway, those are the colors. I'm glad I had enough time to, um, to uh, do the colors so that you can see what the colors would look like. Sorry, it's all messy. Maybe I can do a little design with it using this, the way it's at. Maybe con continue it and do a design so that um, and you maybe use the markers and stuff to do design. But it won't be for equilibrium. It'll just be, you know, I'll, maybe I'll show it. If I, if I do anything with it, I'll show, I'll show it next time I, I uh, do an un unboxing. But anyway, that is the scrawler box for um, October. Where's the lid? Oh, there it is. And um, if you got a scroller box um, for October, let me know what your thoughts were. Um, are you excited to use the, the markers? Or I mean, I just love having all these markers. And they're all different, you know, and I love it. Especially, like I said, I love the soluble, you know, markers where I can use water with it. I just totally in love with them. I'm, I'm getting used to doing watercolor, water-based, you know, drawings now, which that's a good thing for me because, you know, I was stuck with, um, I keep bumping the camera and I, I apologize. Um, I especially like that it's got this little nameplate in the, in the beginning. I'm, I need to glue it down a little bit better. I'll just take some, um, I've got a, what do you call it, a glue stick. I'll just stick it down better. But anyway, that is, I, I love it that they came and came with this, this, this one came with the um, sketchbook, journal, slash journal. But anyway, that is the uh, scroller box for October. And um, let me know if you got scroller box and what you thought of the supplies. And set, put a link to your, um, to if you've got a um, YouTube uh, channel, put in, you, know, you, you know, did an unboxing or you did a piece of art, you know, using these supplies. You know, put a link in, you know, put a link in so that I can go check it out and see what you came up with. Anyway, till next time, I hope you all had a nice Halloween for those who do celebrate it. And since this is the October, well, since I won't, won't be posting this till, well, this will be posted in November. I actually got this in October. So, um, but, um, so for those of you who celebrate um, Thanksgiving, I hope you had a nice one. Because I probably want, I probably will be posting this at the end of November. So I hope you all had a nice, um, for those of you who celebrate it, I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. And until next time, you all take care of yourselves. God bless. Bye.